The sun is set in central Idaho, where mountain man Tom Orr is closing in on his destination after a 500-mile drive. My brother just sold his ranch down here, and he's going to move up to the Yak. He's going to be my neighbor. Tom's older brother Jack is just about packed up, but he's running out of time before the big move. He's got a week to get out of this place. So I thought, well, I'll come down and help him get some stuff together. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> pretty soon, pretty soon. <laughs> the sale happened so fast that Jack was caught off guard in the middle of a last minute job. He's a master rifle maker who specializes in 19th century American muzzle loaders. Well, what do you got going here? Well, trying to build this rifle. It's a Hawken 58. The Hawken is a legendary frontier firearm once used to take down buffalo. Today, it's a collector's item worth $2,000. So it looks like we got a long way to go on this sucker, doesn't it? Indeed we do. <laughs> well, what a challenge. He's hoping to make a little money with this rifle to get through the winter. So it needs to be done first. Even if we have to go a night without sleep, I'm, hell, I'm ready to help him. Tom's not a gunsmith, but Jack's counting on the extra pair of hands to meet his deadline. The first thing, this is called an under rib. It gets soldered on underneath the barrel, and these are ramrod loops that hold your ramrod in. The ramrod packs the powder and ball down the barrel, which is why the under rib has to be securely attached and requires a strong solder, one that has to be heated thoroughly to 1,100 degrees. A lot of steel there to get heated up. We have to heat the whole barrel up until it's almost red hot. And then we'll lay the solder out on the hot barrel and we'll attach the piece to it. And then after it all cools, it'll be one solid piece of metal. You reckon we need another propane torch? Yeah, I think you're right. You ready? One torch just doesn't get it hot enough. We gotta have two torches going so we can get it going hotter. Now I thought I was a trapper, now I'm turning into a gun maker, huh? All right, let's try it. Let's see if I can set this thing on here. I think we should stop let it heating cool. it and let it cool and see if it's gonna stay. I don't see no crack. All right. We did get the, the ramrod piece soldered to the bottom of the barrel. It took us a while, but we did it. If they can finish the rifle by daybreak, Jack can collect his hefty commission and get back to his most urgent task, prepping for his move to the yak. Now, the next thing to do is to fit these these keys so into the slot. Metal pins called locking keys secure the barrel to the gun stock that Jack cut from a solid piece of cherry wood. The old timey rifles, they had these keys that went through the forearm of the stock, went through a little loop under the barrel and came out the other side, holds it into place. Well, let's see if we can lock this barrel right in there. The tighter the fit, the more accurate the rifle will be. Building a, a muzzle loader uses a lot of exactness. The way the wood fits with the metal, the closeness. There we go. Right. That's a, the kind of thing that, that a person looks for when they buy a gun. And there's a lot of detail that you have to follow. Kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it will, anyhow. Still a lot to do, but we're gonna get it. Pretty gun, buddy. Now they're down to the final step, attaching the flintlock firing mechanism. That should do it. Just load her up and shoot it. <laughs> Cock the hammer, set the trigger, and pull it. Right? Yep. Good shot. There's just something about them rifles. They just, they just feel good. Congratulations, what a job. All right.
the rifle was good to get out of his way, so now, now we can just go to pack it and, and move it. And I don't know how we're ever going to get it all moved in the middle of winter like this. But we'll, we'll give it everything we got, by God. Maybe we should take a nap now. Or eat some breakfast. Yeah. Or something.